Hello, I'm going to do the Libra Weekly Love Energy, and this is for December 20th to the 26th, and this may or may not resonate for you as this is still a general reading. It is my intention for it to be a love reading. It could be about you and your partner, or it could be about loving yourself, um, but you never know what the cards are going to say and who they feel needs to hear a message. If you like these, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. All right, so we're going to pick some Romance Angel cards. We have Separation. We have Chemistry. And then we have Let Go of Control Issues. So those are our Romance Angel cards that we have. All right, now we're going to pick some Tarot cards. So we have separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So this could be with a current partner that the two of you need to take a break, or it could be that you are, have not met that partner yet, that you're still in separation. We have the lovers, all right? So that represents Gemini. We have five of pentacles, so temporary hardship. We have the death card. Um, that is Scorpio. We have Four of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, and the High Priestess. This is just temporary, this separation, whether or not that person has come in yet, or the two of you just need some time apart. Um, it could be that maybe your partner has to go on a business trip or they live in a different area or it could be that mentally the two of you just need to take a break from each other. All right, and then let's pick three of these. We have the Magician, Two of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. So you got two Aces. Aces are new beginnings. <coughs> All right, so we have the Lovers and that represents... Um, Gemini and that represents obviously a relationship it's about finding your other half it's about making a choice um, it's about choosing a new romance a new romance that's coming in we have the five of Pentacles representing this is just a temporary hardship we have the death card which represents Scorpio it represents transformation transition um, maybe the, you and your current partner need some time apart to work on things, but when you come back together, your relationship is stronger and better than ever. Um, it could be that your, strong, your chemistry is stronger and you're letting go of control issues and you're not trying to control your partner or situations as much. It's more of a partnership rather than a dictatorship. All right? We have a four of pentacles, which re represents that you're blocking energy. You're, you're blocking energy from coming in and you're keeping to yourself because this separation is bothering you, whether it is you've been alone for a long time um, and this is bothering you, but you need to change that and you need to bring more positive energy in because if this is the energy you have, you're blocking good energy from coming in. All right, we have the Ace of Swords. Aces represents new beginnings, and Swords represents overcoming a difficult time. We have the High Priestess, which represents listening to that inner voice, knowing that you already know the answers to this, but you're almost overthinking, or you're you're almost like, like you know that you're going to get through this. We have the Magician, which represents you have the power to make things happen. You also have the infinity sign, which represents individual empowerment and everlasting love. You again have the infinity sign again. And then you have, this is the two of pentacles, which represents balancing um, different areas of your life, um, balancing a relationship, and balancing out. You have the ace of wands, Again, aces are new beginnings, and wands represents actions. It's about charging forward, moving forward, moving forward from a different 
you know, perspective. If it's you're single, then moving forward with that positive energy. If you're with your partner and you're having issues, it's about working through those, transitioning, changing, and moving forward in a better partnership, a better way, in a better energy. Okay? Let's see. For chemistry, there is a strong magnetic attraction here. And I feel like once you're able to work through this, the two of you are going to get back on that path of having that chemistry, having that connection, getting back to that being a partnership. If you're single, then possibly you're meeting somebody and somebody that you have a lot of chemistry with, okay? Because we have the lovers here. We have judgment, which is an awakening and a renewal. We have seven of wands and we have the wheel. So things are changing. Things are turning for you, okay? It's a new cycle for you. This is a new cycle because I feel like over here you've worked on something. Like you've let you've let go of that negative energy. You've let you're not blocking it anymore. You're not worrying about it as much. Transition, transformation, letting go of what does not work, embracing the future. Embracing a new attitude, a new you. All right. We have three of swords. We have the Hierophant, which is Taurus. And we have the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> this also represents separation. It represents um, mentally being separated. So if you are with your partner, that the two of you are not connected, you're feeling um, separate. It could be physical separation, like I said in the beginning, that maybe you live in one place and your partner lives in the other place, and so the two of you have to be separated for now. Um, it could also represent heartbreak, <clears throat> but I feel like this sort of goes back with this one is, is feeling that separation, that you're still, maybe one day, you know, you, one day you're feeling good and you're feeling positive, and then the next day you're feeling a little off and you're not feeling as strong so you're still having that energy come back in we have the hierophant which is um, <clears throat> talking with somebody that you trust um, somebody who is a good friend um, looking to a higher power um, whatever that is um, that would work for you and then we have the queen of swords <clears throat> which represents somebody who has overcome a difficult situation. I do feel you're going to be able to get past this. This may be a back and forth thing where, like I said, one week or one day you're feeling good or you're feeling good for a while and then something might trigger it and then you go back. But then I feel like you're going to have a plan in place where you're going to be able to know, okay, this is just going to be temporary and I'm going to be able to get through this. Okay. Um, let's see. We've got the wheel. Let's see. So we had judgment, which represents an awakening, a renewal, a new start, a new you, because you. this is right next to the death card, representing that you've let things go, transition, transformation, awakening. You're feeling more alive. You're standing up for yourself. You're doing what works best for you. You know that being in this negative headspace is not a, a good thing for you. Okay, we all things are changing, things are turning. I feel like your attitude is really going to change, turn around. But like I said, you're going to have those good days and you're going to have those bad days. Um, so as far as meeting a new person, it's about you being more, um, more aware of that you are projecting this positive energy, um, and that you're not rushing into things, that you're just letting things happen naturally. You're not bringing past relationships in to this new relationship. Um, you're not bringing that energy in, that you're starting fresh, you're starting new, you're, you're turning over a new leaf, that um, when you meet this person, this is going to be different for you. This is a different type of a person than what you're used to from the past. This is somebody who can bring this positive energy to you um, and help you work through these things, but it puts you in a different mindset. 
if you're disconnected from your partner, like I said, I feel like the two of you work on this and then you reconnect and it becomes stronger. We have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. It's like, just let this happen naturally. Don't try to force anything. Don't try to push anything. Don't try to control anything. Um, if it's a new relationship, like I was saying, just let things happen naturally. Just let things happen and fall in place. Go in with a positive energy. Don't put any expectations on this new relationship, okay? Um, and let things happen naturally and see where they fall into place. If it's about connecting with your partner, it's about um, not trying to control the situation all the time and having it fall in, in your, you know, the way you want it because it's two people working together and each has a different opinion and so that's where you need to work on things and each person wants to be heard. All right, we have the Fool, which represents new beginnings. We have the Nine of Cups, which is the wish card. We have the Hierophant again, so that represents Taurus. So that could be, um, that is your represents your partner. Again, believing in a higher power, um, getting back to old ways, um, feeling reconnected, um, confiding in a really good friend that you trust. Lots of positive energy of once you let go of these control issues that it feels like freedom. It feels like, you know, what do you want to have happen? You know, what do you want to see? What is your wishes? Prince of Swords moving forward. Again, Six of Swords moving forward. And Temperance finding that, that balance is, is going to take some patience. It's going to take some time. But I do feel that you're definitely going to be able to work through this. I mean, this is a, a great way to end this, you know, this these cards in these last is last part is having the fool card, having the nine of cups card. Um, what is your wishes? What do you want to have happen? Moving forward, what do you want to see in this relationship? If you start a new relationship, what do you want to see in that? But don't put a lot of pressure on that. Um, that it has to be a certain way, you know, what energy do you want to put into it? Um, are you willing to work on this? Um, whether that's your current relationship or a new relationship. Having that new beginning. Yeah, because you got... Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Fool. So a lot of new beginning and a lot of forward movement. Six of Swords moving forward. Um, Knight of Swords. Temperance, having that, ba that, that patience and that balance in your relationship. And maybe if you are with a partner and you have this separation, whether you both need some time apart to think that when you come back together, that you're going to be able to find that balance in your relationship. It's a new start. You know, a new year, a new start. Things are changing. Listening to your inner voice. It definitely has to do with a relationship. So it's either a new relationship that comes in. Um, that you don't bring old baggage in. That you start fresh. That you start new. Um, that you put positive energy into it. That you don't try and control the relationship and you don't put expectations on it and you just let things happen naturally or it's a current relationship that you need some time apart and then you when you come back together it's more of a partnership um, and you both agree to work things out all right we have the death card a time of natural transition and transformation. That's exactly, and you got the death card right here, okay? So again, it's about if you're starting a new relationship, this is going to be different from any other relationship. It's, it's going to be a new way of looking at a relationship. If it's a current relationship, it's about transformation within your relationship. It's about dealing with... Um, 
situations in a different way and having that partnership and that's what brings this chemistry and this connection and um, these feelings of being connected and being a partnership and finding that balance within your relationship so you both feel like you're being heard. All right, I hope that made sense. I hope that helped. <laughs> I kind of feel like I was all over the place, but I think I kind of narrowed it down, hopefully. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.